You're watching the Auction Network. If you like dog design, the fine art collection at the AKC is A-OK. -okay. <laughs> I'm uh, Lisa Peterson, and I'm here at the American Kennel Club at our corporate headquarters here in Manhattan. The American Kennel Club was founded in 1884. We are the nation's oldest and largest purebred dog registry. So all the purebred dogs with AKC papers, we register them here. We're also the governing body for the sport of purebred dogs, all the field trials and dog shows that you see, such as the Westminster Kennel Club. And we have over 20,000 events annually. Uh, this weekend we had the uh, Bonhams Bark Fest uh, prior to the auction. It was a fundraiser for the AKC Humane Fund. The AKC Humane Fund is a new charity, a not-for-profit. Uh, it's an affiliate of the American Kennel Club. And uh, we are sort of uh, raising money for, um, for pets welfare, for research, um, for rescue, and also for grant giving. Um, you know, we are really big on public education about responsible dog ownership. The American Kennel Club has one of the largest um, and most prominent uh, works of canine art in this country. We have uh, lots of different works from the 16th century all the way up through the present. Um, we have Maud Earls, we have John M's, we have Arthur Wardles, and many, many other artists here. Uh, it's a lovely collection, and it is open to the public. People can come and have a tour of the artwork here. They just have to call us first and schedule it. And we have the artwork in conjunction with our AKC Library, which is the largest collection of canine books. Um, in the country, we have over 18,000 volumes, um, as well as some very impressive old sterling silver trophies from dog shows from ages. This painting is a Maud Earl from 1935. It is of a standard poodle, a white one, and I just fell in love the first time I saw this, the, the beautiful pastel colors in the background. But this is actually a dog that won Best in Show at Westminster in 1935. Uh, this here is one of my favorite paintings. This is a Maud Earl of a St. Bernard um, from 1896, and it's called I Hear a Voice. And I just love the look in this dog's face. It, it, it hears its master's voice, it's, it's wondering what he's telling him, and he's just waiting to respond to it. I absolutely love this oil painting. And these here are some of the lovely paintings we have here in our foyer. Um, I love this one of the English setters, all the different colors of the dog, very vibrant. Um, this here I really love. It's got the Gordon setter, the English setter, and also the pointer. Um, and I love the um, autumnal colors in the background and the grasses. It just really kind of jumps out at you. This here is our rare book collection. Uh, we have books going back to the 1600s here for breeds and about the dog industry, um, and just all sorts of different uh, encyclopedias, fiction, nonfiction. Um, it's really quite a nice collection. It's one of the largest in, in the world here. The American Kennel Club has been sponsoring dog shows since 1884, and one of the biggest trophies we have here was donated by um, J.P. Morgan and it was a challenge cup for the um, Pekingese Club of America and every year we um, bring this trophy back to the show for their uh, annual show here in New York City. Um, so we have this as well and another one of my favorites um, is this bulldog trophy over here that is a um, sterling silver Tiffany cup and you can see on the bottom it has the bulldogs there uh, sort of chained to the cup and also the bulldog relief and it has the inscription out of all the winners of the Bulldog Club of America show. This is one of the uh, three original bronze casts of a German Shepherd dog that we had made uh, when we launched our DOGNY project, which is right after 9-11, uh, we started the Canine Relief and Support Fund to help search and rescue dogs across America. <laughs>
One of the things about dogs, and especially dog breeds, is people want to associate with their own breed. And the American Kennel Club each year has a top 10 list of top breeds, and the Beagle is number five. So, you know, millions of Americans have Beagles, so they were really rooting for the Beagle. And they also like to watch the handlers and the dogs and how they interact with each other, because what that is exhibiting is the best in a canine human bond. And everybody knows that, you know, they love their dogs and their dogs can give them unconditional love back. So it's, it's just a wonderful thing to watch and experience. Uh, for 2007, the top 10 dog breeds in America were the, or are the Labrador Retrievers number one for the 17th year in a row, followed by the Yorkshire Terrier, German Shepherd Dog, the uh, Golden Retrievers in fourth place, the Beagle is number five, six is the Dachshund, seven is the Boxer, eight is the Shih Tzu, nine is the Poodle, and 10 is the Bulldog. We love dogs because they are the absolute perfect companion for man. Um, our relationship with them goes back tens of thousands of years. And the best thing about having a dog is to the experience that uh, canine human bond. Um, you know, we love our dogs, but our dogs give us back unconditional love. We'll see what some other oils go for a little later in the show. Stay tuned for more canine collectibles. To register for future live auctions, go to auctionnetwork.com.